Good morning, and welcome to St. John the Baptist Cathedral Basilica Parish. We welcome all of you present and those joining us through live stream. We ask that all during the ongoing pandemic continue to use hand sanitizers and maintain a distance of two meters. The wearing of masks is strongly encouraged. Our gathering chant this morning is number 383 in the CBW, Alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord, 383. Our presider is Father Cecil Critch. Please stand. Son and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Morning, everyone. Morning, Father. As we journey through our beautiful season of Easter, we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus from the dead, new life of spring. We ask the Lord to come into our hearts today and to forgive us our sins. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you.
God, who have bestowed on us paschal remedies, endow your people with heavenly gifts, so that possessed of perfect freedom, they may rejoice in heaven over what gladdens them now on earth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the day of Pentecost had come, Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed the crowd. Let the entire house of Israel know with certainty that God has made him both Lord and Messiah, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when the people heard this, they were cut to the heart. And Peter said to them and to the other apostles, Brothers, what should we do? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, so that your sins may be forgiven and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you, for your children, and for all who are far away, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to him. And Peter testified with many other arguments and exhorted them, saying, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation, so that whom welcomed his message were baptized, and that day about 3,000 persons were added to their number. The word of the Lord. The response to Psalm 33, the earth is full of the steadfast love of the Lord. The earth is full of the steadfast love of the Lord. The earth
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Mary Magdalene stood weeping outside the tomb as she wept. She bent over to look into the tomb and she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head and the other at the feet. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? And she said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and do not, I do not know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not know that it was Jesus. And Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. And Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabuni, which means teacher. And Jesus said to her, Do not hold on to me because I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that she, he had said these things to her. The Gospel of the Lord. Our first readings for Easter will be taken from the Acts of the Apostles written by St. Luke that reports the working of the Holy Spirit in the life of the early church. And if we follow that along, you'll find a beautiful, not necessary history of the church, but a beautiful, beautiful report of the working of the Holy Spirit in the lives of the early church leaders and the people. In the Gospel reading today, which is from Easter Sunday, the risen Lord says, asks Mary two questions. Who, why are you weeping and whom are you looking for? Mary was weeping because she not, could not find Jesus for whom she was looking. Some of the sadness in our lives comes from a sense of loss and many have known that particular form of sadness at the loss of loved ones. Mary's longing for Jesus was satisfied and the risen Jesus spoke her name and her sadness was banished and she tried to cling to him still. Yet even in that moment of great joy, she had to learn to let go of Jesus as she had known him. We always tried to hold on to things of this earth rather than the things of heaven. Jesus was returning to the Father. From now on, he would relate to Mary and to all of the disciples in a new way. He would be as close to her and his disciples as he ever was. Indeed, probably even closer, but in a different way. So we too are called to let go of those loved ones who have died 
as they journey to the place prepared for them in the Father's house. The Gospel reading assures us that our longing for the Lord, which is our deepest longing, will always be satisfied. After his death and resurrection and journeying from this world to the Father, the Lord draws us into his relationship with God, thereby making us his brothers and sisters and brothers and sisters of one another. If we open our lives to him and search for him as Mary did, we will come to experience this quality of communion with him and with each other. I think another point in today's Gospel reading is also we see Mary Magdalene's journey towards Easter faith. You know, she saw Jesus standing there but didn't recognize him, assuming he was the gardener. Then in response to Jesus calling her name, she recognized the person before him, her as Jesus. She had to understand as well as the other disciples that Jesus would no longer be with them as he was before his death but a new way through the Holy Spirit. Only when Mary had let go of her former relationship with Jesus could she finally be sent out as a messenger of the gospel, a messenger of Easter faith to the disciples by saying, I have seen the Lord. And at the beginning of the gospel reading, Mary was a disciple weeping for, for the dead Jesus. At the end of the reading, she was a joyful messenger of the risen Jesus, the good news of Easter. Let us also be joyful messengers of the good news of Jesus' resurrection, because we are an Easter people. Our prayers of intercession today. For Holy Father, Pope Francis and Peter, our bishop, and all those who lead and guide our church, we pray to the Lord. We pray for all of our parishioners that they may be imbued with the joy of this Easter season. We pray to the Lord. We pray for peace in our world, in areas that still are in conflict, especially Ukraine and Yemen and Syria, Haiti and other areas of our world. We pray for peace. We pray to the Lord. We also pray today for all of the sick, all those who have rec been recommended to our prayers, we pray to the Lord. For all those who have died, for our own family members who have died, we also pray today for the intentions of the Mass, the Thistle family and the members, deceased members of the McWillie family, and Frank Butler. For these and all those who have died in the peace of Christ, we pray to the Lord. And we pray for your own intentions at this Mass today. We pray to the Lord. God, our Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear and answer all the prayers we have in our hearts, and we make them in the name of Jesus Christ, our risen Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Let us pray, except in compassion, Lord, we pray the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give 
give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but above all in this time to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with Paschal Easter joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church to spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Bishop, the church, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, with St. John the Baptist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs with them to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. with confidence to our Heavenly Father in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We share the peace of Christ now with one another. of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am Lord, not worthy that you should enter Lord, under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For the reception of Holy Communion, we ask that people from the side sections come to receive Holy Communion first, maintain a two meter distance in the communion line, and sanitize your hands before receiving Holy Communion. If you do not wish to receive Holy Communion at this time, you are welcome to come forward for a blessing. The communion hymn is number 651 in the CBW, The Last Supper. Jesus took the bread he broke, Jesus shared the bread he broke, and said, do this, do this in
shared the bread he broke and said, do this, do this in memory of me. Jesus took the wine he poured. Jesus shared the wine he poured and said, do Let us pray. Hear us, Almighty God. And as you have bestowed on your family the perfect grace of baptism, to so prepare their hearts for the reward of eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless all of us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God, alleluia, alleluia. Our recessional hymn is number 385 in the CBW, Christ the Lord is Risen Today. Christ the Lord 